What's one of the first things the aftermarket tells you to do to your car? Put on a cold air intake, right? What's one of the dumbest things you can do to one of these cars? Right there. Gearhead 704, I'm Matt, and today we are doing a video I've been meaning to do for a while. I'm actually getting ready for Mustang Week. In fact, by the time this video goes up, I should already be there at Mustang Week. If you're around too and you see me, please say hi. I'm really looking forward to it. its uh, I've actually never been. This is my very first one. But today, I am prepping for Mustang Week, and one of the things I wanted to do in prep is get the engine bay looking a little bit nicer while also improving the performance of my Fox body. You can see right here underneath the hood, there's a couple of eyesores. I mean, this cold air intake system, let's be honest, it's not even a cold air intake. It's really a hot air intake. When you think about the system they had from Ford, you've got this, you got this nice hole right here. It would suck cold air in here from the fender well. But what did we do? What did we all hear in the 90s and I'm guilty of as well, early 2000s? Put on a cold air intake, it'll help so much, right? Add more horsepower. I bought in, I bought in. And so this style of intake is actually a hot air intake. You can see right here in the engine bay, this is where the air filter is. And truly the factory air box, it was just so much better. It was plastic, right? This is metal, what does metal do? Heats up, that already is a little bit heated up. I just moved the car over a little bit to give me some working room. But yeah, this whole tube here was all plastic and it would go right in here, suck out to the fender well, and I don't have that anymore. Got rid of it a long time ago, sold it actually, regret I sold it. Wish I still had my factory air intake box, but I am at least gonna replace this one. We're getting rid of this hot air intake and we are gonna go with another fender well style cold air intake. I'm pretty excited about it. It's a BBK. I actually bought it from Steeda. I don't know if you knew that. They do sell BBK parts. They sell all kinds of parts. Love Steeda. But yeah, uh, I'm gonna put that in. I've got the box right here. Gonna show you guys and kind of a little bit walk you through. There are some videos out there about how to install these, but honestly, I don't think they're very good from what I saw. But then again, a cold air intake is pretty simple. Also, I am in my home garage today, so that's why you see all the bikes, all the stuff on the floor everywhere, but uh, at least it's, you know, Fox Body parking only, right? <laughs> but yeah, let me go ahead and get this unboxed, let you guys kind of look at it, see how it's different. There is one part I think it's gonna be a little bit challenging to the install, and I'll walk you through that, and let's get ready for Mustang Week. Again, really, really excited, so let's get going on this. Okay, as you saw in the time lapse there, I was kind of mocking things up and just getting everything out and also getting a good idea of what I'm gonna need to do to get it installed. But let me show you the parts and the components that come with this kit. I've gone ahead and sort of mocked it up here, but this is going to go in the fender where the cold air comes in. So they give you this. Uh, this part here ends up going in this side and the other side, the filter, you actually have to go underneath the car to install. This is gonna be the tricky part I mentioned. Uh, they do give you some rubber tubing here that you're basically, I'm gonna separate it and put it around the circle here so it doesn't cut into my assembly and start scratching it up and probably some other things. It's a little pre-cut, separate that, I'll put that in there. They recommended some oil too. I don't know if I'm gonna oil it. Obviously the mass air meter is gonna go here, but I just wanted to go ahead and mock it up so this is gonna look a lot better under the hood, I think. They do give you, by the way, all the hardware you need to install it. Hardware's right here. And in the kit, they include a QR code that you can scan, go to the BBK site on how to install it. I will say the installation instructions on there aren't the greatest. Uh, it covers both the hot air intake, or I don't know, non-fender well style, whatever you wanna call it, as well as the fender well style, which I got. It covers both, but it kinda of goes back and forth, and it's not super clear, but you know, these things are basically straightforward. But if you take a look here with this tubing, I think for my engine bay, that's gonna look so much better. I probably should have also like painted these black, but I really don't have time now before Mustang Week. I just need to get it done. Maybe that's something I'll do down the road. But right now I'm gonna go ahead and get the old one off, and then we'll start the installation. 
All right, the old one is out of the way. Uh, the only thing left in here is the mass air meter. Got a Pro-M. Is actually on this bolt down there. I think I might take that out. I'm not sure. I'm gonna see how it fits. If everything still fits in its location, I'll leave it. But I'll probably have to disconnect that. Shouldn't be a big deal. And, but yeah, the rest of the tubing's out of the way. I did disconnect the negative battery cable, so you know. Safety first, right? Gotta do that. But yeah, here's the old unit. Kind of stuck it together. I'm gonna do something here for the thumbnail, but I got all those parts, and uh, boy, that filter looks pretty dirty. Believe it or not, it was clean, but uh, that one over there, it looks so much better. But what do you think, guys? I think underneath the hood here, oh yeah, I am gonna definitely have to move my mass air, but this is, yeah much, much better. So anyway, let me go ahead and take that out because I'm gonna have to move that anyway and we'll get started on this. All right guys, I decided that I was not doing a good job. So I got my helper in here, <laughs> Tiffany. I actually know uh, I wanted her to get to experience installing colder intake, so. I've already done the hard part, you know, Tiff. Yeah, I've already taken it off. Yeah. You know that removing it is always harder than putting it in, right? I think so, I don't know. <laughs> Definitely not, okay. <laughs> So guys, I did have a little bit of a problem. I was trying to go ahead and mock and test fit this off camera and you can see I'm having trouble getting around my throttle body. Think if I had a stock throttle body, it'd be fine, but this is a 75. I think that is what's going on while I'm having an issue. So what I'm going to do, or what Tiffany's gonna do, <laughs> is we're gonna reuse some of the old stuff. I actually already stuck it on here. This one is from the old one that came off, but it is it is fitting around it. It's gonna do a little better. So we're gonna have to use that now. If you just had like a stock throttle body or even a 70 millimeter, I think you'd be all right. But I got the 75, so gotta reuse some old stuff. Anyway, we're gonna go back to time lapse and I'm gonna let Tiffany try and do the install. You know, that way if this messes up, I can just blame it all on her. <laughs> blame it all. <laughs> All right guys, interrupting the time lapse. We were just kind of test fitting, mocking stuff up, still having just a couple issues here. But one of the things we're going to do right now is go ahead and put this plate in. Now I mentioned there is a rubber ring that needs to go around this. Yeah, but here's the ring. It's got a, uh, see how it's got a, a slit in there, Tiff? Oh yeah. And we've got to wrap it around on the inside there. Mm -hmm. And then we're gonna go ahead and put the hardware in. So we're gonna do that next. Pretty easy here. There's just two bolts up top. I know it's a little hard for you guys to see, but yeah, there's a bolt hole here, another one here, and I believe there's two more at the bottom. We're gonna try that, get that plate on, and then see if I need to take this thing off in order to get it to fit. I might, again, this was from the old setup, so we'll see. Okay, a little progress. Guys, it, this is, it's not done, but it looks like it's done. I think it no, looks a lot better. All we're all done. <laughs> Who cares if it falls off? <laughs> oh wait, oh, I, think, man. I think I do, because we have to drive it. Yeah, yeah, we need to make it to Mustang Week. <laughs> we do. Yeah, so, but I do think it looks a lot better than the mm -hmm. other one. Looks what do you neat. think, actually, about the look? I think it's neat. It's a new concept for me to know that the air filter is like. I'm about to talk about that, because that's kind of, we had some issues, but yeah, but grab, um, so you get a better idea. You might've forgot. Hey, look at this too, though, look at the. Like it's black now. So oh. it's all, see how it's all more Ooh, black. That's really nice with the. Yeah, the only thing else we really need to change black is we need to get that throttle body there. All right, so we had a couple of issues. We did not, actually, we did not oil this, but that wasn't too bad. We got that in there. Problem that we had getting the filter up in there, which I did do. I don't think they saw it. I got the filter up in there. What we're going to do, I think, is we're going to tighten everything down and jack the car up. Because I, don't, I think if we don't, Tiff, uh, what's going to happen is there's a danger that the air filter could fall off. And I want to make sure that's tight. That'd be bad. Yeah. So we're almost done, but that's what we're going to do. We are going to jack this up. Now, I did not need to take the fender liner out. On the BBK, they recommended taking this out, but I can get past it without that. I think I might want to jack the car up and see. So we're going to do finishing tightening touches. I am going to be able to stick that bolt down in there for the mass air meter. That's going to make me feel a little bit better with that. And uh, then we'll jack it up. Then we'll let you guys know uh, what it looks like.
All right, guys, I did try in the time lapse, as you saw, I did try to go ahead and use the jack. And then I realized after it jacked up a little bit, I can't see it. I can't get up there without the jack. But let me show you guys. We're gonna go underneath the car. Let me show what I'm looking at. You can kind of see that there's a little bit of shadow, but that's the blue filter. Right beside it is the metal ring. I'm trying to get you guys a better light angle. There you go, I think you can see that. So I was able to tighten it. I was able to get a socket wrench from down here, tighten it, and really tried to pull on it. Uh, Tiff, you wanna come from the top and see and show? She can get to it from the top, try to pull it off. There you go. It's pretty tight. Pull out on the rubber. It's not really coming, is it? No. So there we go. I'm gonna tighten it one more time, guys, but I think we're about done. All right, guys, and don't forget the last step, which I almost forgot, was to plug in my mass air meter. It's probably gonna need that. Okay, I think we're good. Tiffany tightened all this. I'm, I'm really digging this new setup. I think it looks a lot better. I do think it uh, is kind of a pain in the butt to go ahead and uh, mess with the filter there. But other than that, I like it. I guess we'll crank it up, make sure it starts, but it should, I mean, why would it not? So I'm going to call this good. That's the finished finish product. So what do you think? It's good. But I think this looks a lot better. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Uh, it's really hard to see, but uh, it is all black now. I think this is a much better look for the car. And that's it. Are you happy, Tiff? I think it looks really good. I, right. I didn't have much expectation. You didn't even tell me you were doing this. And now, yeah. oh. No, she good. just came out here. I was like, hey, I need your help. And then I threw her in the video, which <laughs> happens sometimes when you're married to a YouTuber. It does. So, coming to Mustang Week? I hope so. Okay. <laughs> Yes, yeah, she is supposed to come with me too. Yeah, that's gonna be it for this one. Uh, hopefully that helped you guys out. Like I said, the biggest challenge is definitely the air filter, but I was able to do it without taking the inner fender lying off. Uh, so you could probably do that too. I just kind of had to reach up through there where I showed you guys. So yeah, that's it. Big thank you to Tiff for helping out and hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please hit the like button. It helps me out a lot. If you're stopping in for the first time, please subscribe because I do upload two times a week, every Sunday and Wednesday. So you can count on that consistent content. And if you're at Mustang Week, definitely come say hi. They should come say hi to us, right, Tiff? Come say hi. All right, and we'll see you here next time on Gearhead 704. All right, guys, this is Tiffany, and this is actually part of a continuation of getting Tar Hill Fox ready for Mustang Week. But guess what? Surprise. We're supposed to surprise. We are back. We're back here. Why are we back here? Honey, are we supposed to be on the road right now? No, we're supposed to not have any Fox Resto in it. They won't no. stop breaking crap. <laughs> We're trying to, we're literally on our way to Mustang Week. We were supposed to be leaving, right? Yeah, I decided to just want to work on the car, you know. Oh, yeah, right. So, what's actually happening, babe? Like, why Why are we here? Oh, the starter's still hot. Yeah, right here. Starter! So, we were actually no. having oh, trouble. The yeah, the starter was not wanting to start, and it was taking us multiple times to get the engine to start. So, we are here at Fox Resto to fix that. Our car's packed. Yeah, oh yeah, like it's on the lift right now with my suitcase in it. Like my suitcase is up there. Wait, is my purse still up there? Oh my gosh. <laughs> I can't now get, get your it. purse away from all your stuff's in there all because stuff. I couldn't get the lift onto the car because it was too low. I had to pick the car up a little bit to put the lift arm underneath. <laughs> so we put this new Ford starter in. Cut the back up into the motor, put the nose down, and okay. then pull it out that way. Yep. Oh, oh. Oh. All right. Pull it. The beach. <laughs> so yeah, we need a starter. <laughs> All right. We so... sold Ford parts, Matt. <laughs> uh, that, I don't know. That one was rebuilt. So. <laughs> Crap happens. Yeah. Know. So we got another starter. We're putting it in. We're coming to Mustang Week. We're still coming to Mustang Week. Just wanted to share a little bit of the fun we're having. I doubt we're the only ones that are are trying to work on their car right before going. So you know, you guys probably feel us, and you're probably throwing together one last thing and hope. We might to be see... the only ones though, that are literally on their way to Mustang Week. That's true. Well, then you can still feel us. This is a Mustang thing. So hopefully we'll be seeing you guys soon. All right, start or replace, moment of truth. Let's see if we're going to Mustang week or not. Hope we can. Hey, Mustang week. See you there, we're already there. <laughs> you don't have to go up that high. <laughs> Is this what it looks like with a camera in your face? Wow, that's fun. <laughs> I feel like I'm a little further back. You know, I don't like this. Guys, I don't like it. I could not handle. Okay. 
I so, said, did I declare your YouTube power? You did, you did. All right, here we go. I hate you. You suck. <laughs> what? <laughs>